Around about six or seven months ago, I reported that the new Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y would have an M3P battery. A lot of people said, oh, I don't know about that, but um, fortunately for them and fortunately for you and us and everyone, yes, the 3 and the Y have been confirmed to have CATL's new M3P battery. Why does this matter? I think it does. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm back. Got an ear infection still. Can't hear out of that side of my head. It feels very weird. So if I uh, mumble, my apologies. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm now in Newcastle. More details to come. The boys are very eager to um, explore the area, get out on the beach, check it out. And fortunately, the weather here over the last few days, even though it's winter, has been pretty good. Tesla Model 3 Highland and the Model Y Juniper have been confirmed to have the new M3P battery. What does this mean? It means more range, lighter weight, and ultimately just a better car. The Model 3 Highland redesign will be released in the third quarter. That includes in the United States and in Tesla's China factory in Shanghai. It's gonna have a 66 kilowatt hour size. That's the Model 3 battery size. So that'll mean it's bigger than the current 60 kilowatt hour size, 10% bigger, plus the higher energy density that the M3P battery brings. Really, this is something we all knew was coming, but it's good to see it confirmed because it, it really shows that actually, yes, Tesla cars are gonna be better. It's not just a refresh. People keep saying it's just a refresh. There's a lot more going on here. If it's just a refresh, you don't need to put this much work in. You just, what, change a few body panels, change a bit of the style. There's quite a bit going into this so-called refresh. The new Model 3 Highland will be equipped with a bigger 66 kilowatt hour battery, plus of course, hardware four, plus a redesign to the exterior, plus some other changes that I've reported on in other videos, slight details here and there. Now, LMFP batteries. It's a new manganese phosphate LMFP. So lithium manganese phosphate battery pack. It's basically a lithium ion phosphate battery pack with manganese in the battery. Giving it higher energy density than lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are currently used in Tesla's standard range vehicles. That includes the standard range in the United States. Of course, Canada now gets their cars from China. Most of the world gets their vehicles, the standard range vehicles now from China. So this will benefit basically everyone. As I mentioned as well, this does mean higher margins for Tesla. Now, th theoretically, Tesla will be paying the same price for these battery packs as the old ones. Even though the battery size is bigger, even though the chemistry is better, battery prices have gone down significantly this year, basically as a result of lithium prices coming down. But the other reason is because there's more competition in the market. More competition means lower prices. Battery manufacturers are saying, we want your business. And Tesla says, okay, great. Because the most popular models in the world, the Tesla sell are the base models for the Model 3 and the Model Y. In fact, they make up more than 50% of Tesla sales. This is actually a pretty big benefit. CATL calls these batteries ternary lithium batteries of the phosphate chemistry system. Bit of a confusing mouthful. The reason they say that is because they don't just replace iron with manganese in certain places. They also throw other metals in like zinc and aluminium. As a result, the energy density of M3P batteries is 15% higher than that of lithium iron phosphate batteries, reaching 210 watts per kilo. And the cost is comparable to LFP batteries. If these reports are true that the batteries have come, gone from 60 kilowatt to 66 kilowatts and the energy density has increased by 15%, this would be a massive, this would be potentially 80 miles of range improvement. That's massive. The Model 3 Highland with a larger 66 kilowatt hour CATL M3P battery will be made in Tesla's Shanghai factory, Gigafactory, for a scheduled release in the September quarter, says Chinese supply chain sources. Not only will the Model 3 Highland redesign offer longer range with the new battery, but Tesla plans to use the same battery with M3P chemistry in the Model Y Juniper refresh that's coming next year as well. Besides the bigger battery and the longer range, 
The Tesla Model 3 Highland is expected to have a longer body. That's really just thanks to the fact that it's got a different body kit on it, different shape. Not actually, it doesn't actually have a longer chassis as far as I'm aware. And it will also come with redesigned headlights, possibly the Matrix headlights that we've seen already in there, but they're not turned on, and taillights as well. The new full self-driving hardware is going to be a big improvement. The new Model 3 and the Model Y are going to be not a redesign. Big improvements are coming. Pretty exciting. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.